I'm Jonathan Daniels, Chief Executive and Port Director of Port Everglades. What appears to be the console of a gamer's dream is actually 175 feet in the air. It's the location where the best longshoremen in the world are working with the latest technology, the world's largest low-profile super post Panamax cranes. So for bigger games, you need bigger cranes at Port Everglades. Hey everybody, it's Hollywood Mayor Josh Levy. I want to congratulate Port Everglades and the team on these beautiful new cranes. Uh, they're going to bring in a lot of business, a lot of cargo, a lot of revenue, and they make the world go around. Thank you, Port Everglades, for being the powerhouse that you are. On behalf of Chefs, five hundred staff and attorneys, and all of our clients who work in and around Port Everglades, thank you for keeping our economy strong. Thank you, Broward County. 各位早上好，我是上海振华重工的董事长刘成营，很高兴借此机会代表公司表达对 Evergrace 码头的感谢与祝贺。Evergrace 三台第一次台暗桥项目是我们第一次合作，也是振华在美国第一个第一次台暗桥项目。该项目的胜利交付离不开用户的支持，同时我们也很高兴，新设备为码头带来新的增量、新的发展，期待能共同战胜暂时的困难，在未来有更长远的发展和协作。谢谢。Hello, I'm Philip Allen, retired CEO of Port Everglades. It is a great honor that I today welcome these new cargo cranes to the active service at the greatest. Powerhouse port in the world. They are capable of meeting the needs of our customers, our future customers, and this community for the years ahead. I was privileged to have led a team of port employees and customers who identified, planned the requirements, and communicated the approvals of the first port master plan in decades. Congratulations to all of those who completed this part of the mission that we celebrate today. Michael Udine, Vice Mayor of Broward County. I, it was an exhilarating afternoon touring the new gantry cranes that are being installed here in Port Everglades. It's just fascinating to learn of the technological superiority of these cranes and the level of expertise that goes into building them, operating them, maintaining them. These are true, unbelievable professionals that day in and day out are going to use their expertise to bring us to the next level in this port on post-Panamax ships coming in. We're going to be able to、uh, increase business development, increase、uh, what comes on and off in these ports, the speed in which we do it, the safety in which we do it, and I think this is going to benefit, you know, the entire、uh, state of Florida. Hello, I'm Alan Peterson from T Mike. We are pleased to be a part of today's commissioning ceremony for the three new ship-to-shore cranes at Port Everglades. We'd like to congratulate Broward County for the clear vision and expert execution needed to position Port Everglades for an outstanding future. Thanks a lot, and have a great ceremony. Hello, hi, I'm Dale Holness, Broward County Commissioner for District Nine, and last year County Mayor for 2020. I am very excited. That we finally have installed our three brand new super post Panamax cranes. These cranes are transformative to the operations here at Port Everglades. Port Everglades provides jobs for over thirteen thousand people directly, and over two hundred twenty thousand indirect. Good afternoon. I'm Dylan D. Francisi, Port Director for U.S. Customs and Border Protection here at Port Everglades. I'd like to congratulate the port on the acquisition of these three gantry cranes, and we at CBP are excited to join you in the clearance of cargo in the South Florida. I'm Joanne Burdian, the Sector Commander and Captain of the Port at Sector Miami. Here with Steve Elliott, our Chief of Prevention. We really just want to extend our、uh, our sincere congratulations to Port Everglades and their business partners and the commissioning of these new gantry cranes. We are Port Everglades Business Development. We now have ten cranes that can operate simultaneously. 
These new cranes are faster. Our new cranes make us more efficient. We can now accommodate 10,000 TEU vessels. These cranes reach 22 containers across versus 16. Our new cranes can handle containers stacked eight high on deck. Our cranes reach a height of 175 feet. Combined lifting capacity on these new cranes is 65 long tons. That is 150,000 pounds. With these new post-Panamax cranes, Port Everglades becomes more competitive. Our new cranes strengthen the port's position as an industry leader. Bigger cranes for bigger gains. Good morning. I'm Dick Slater with Moss Kiwi. We're the construction company responsible for the Southport turning notch and the crane rail project. While these cranes were overseas being manufactured, we spent two years over here building the foundations that would hold them up when they get here. So when you look at those rails on the docks, you'd be amazed at everything that's below them. There's tons and tons of concrete foundations and over 85 feet of piling. So it is a monstrous structure below the surface. So back in November, we had our own little celebration when the, when the cranes were offloaded from the ship. We got the members of the port operations, design team, and all the construction guys, and we're watching them come off, and they're coming down these ramps towards the rails. And of course, we're wanting them to hit the rails. And so when they came down and hit square in the middle of those rails, there was big celebration by that group of people. It was a big day for us. But today is really the big day. We're honored to be part of this celebration and we extend our congratulations to Port Everglades and the entire community. So thanks very much and go Port. This is Max Wigglesworth with Crowley and Port Everglades, Director of Cargo Operations. I wanted to say thank you very much to Port Everglades and congratulations on the new cranes. On behalf of Crowley and specifically our crane operators, we're so happy that you're investing into our future. Thank you. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and I represent Florida's 23rd Congressional District. I'm thrilled that Port Everglades is commissioning three new super post-Panamax container gantry cranes. This is another milestone for the port as it works on various projects to expand the economic activity that comes through Broward County. This will enable the port to facilitate even more trade and job creation. Thank you to the port and county staff and business and community leaders for your hard work. As Broward County's appropriator in Congress, who proudly represents this port, I will keep fighting for federal support to make more expansion projects possible. Hi, it's Ted. I am so proud to represent Port Everglades. I'm sorry I can't be with you to help cut that giant ribbon, but congratulations to Jonathan Daniels and Glenn Wiltshire, the whole port team. This is the largest uh, of this kind of crane in the world. It makes the port more competitive. It allows businesses to grow and compete in the global marketplace. Uh, I look forward to, to getting down there soon, but congratulations on this really significant step forward for the port and for all of South Florida. Hi there, I'm Eric Roth with Breakthrough Beverage and I'm the chairperson for the Port Everglades Action Team. I wanna congratulate our great port staff here on all the hard work that went into this day. It is truly a great day, not only for the port, but for South Florida. Again, thank you and congratulations. Congratulations, Port Everglades. I'm Gabriel Rodriguez, president of A Customs Brokerage and also president of the Florida Custom Brokers and Forwarders Association. Congratulations on the arrival of those three new post Panamax cranes. They're gonna make the port super efficient, which benefits all of our members. Congratulations again, and looking forward to those being put into use. Hi, I'm Jennifer Stewart, the executive director of Seafarer's House. Congratulations to Port Everglades on the commissioning of the new gantry cranes. I remember being on Hollywood Beach the morning they arrived to the port and I saw the ship out there in the distance and I was so thrilled and so proud to be a part of this port community. Congratulations. Congratulations, Port Everglades, on the commissioning of your new gantry cranes. I'm George Platt, here with Seth Platt from LSN Partners and our team. We look forward to working with the port on this expansive new opportunity under your master vision plan. Thank you to all who worked so hard on this important project. Greetings, I'm Johnny Dixon, President of International Longshoremen's Association Local 1526. 
This is an exciting time for Port Everglades and both the members of ILA Local 1526. These new cranes not only ensure that our ports will remain to be competitive in the global market, it also ensures that our port remains to continue to create quality jobs. This Broward County Mayor Steve Geller. I want to congratulate Port Everglades on the commissioning of our new Super Post Panamax gantry cranes. With these new cranes, Port Everglades will have the latest and greatest technology and equipment and will continue to be one of the largest drivers of economic growth in Broward County. Once again, on behalf of Broward County, congratulations, stay safe, wear your masks and social distance. Thank you. Hi, I'm Captain Sam Stevenson, one of the managing pilots of Port Everglades Pilot Association. I would like to congratulate Port Everglades on the new post Panamax gantry cranes. These new cranes will improve efficiency and keep Port Everglades as a world-class seaport. Again, congratulations, Port Everglades. New cranes will add to Port Everglades capacity to handle an even greater amount of perishable cargo through the port, cementing their position as Florida's leader in handling of fresh produce. Hello, I am Richard Vogel with Percentergy and have been involved in the petroleum industry at Port Everglades since 1992. As president of the Port Everglades Association that represents many members that will utilize these cranes, we are extremely pleased to see this become a reality. It is a great moment for the port, Broward County, and all of South Florida. Congratulations to Port Everglades and Broward County leadership for achieving what is clearly a landmark milestone event. Hi, I'm Dale Hoover, Vice President of GFC Crane Consultants. I'd like to congratulate Broward County and Port Everglades on the addition of these three new beautiful ship-to-shore gantry cranes. GFC is excited to be part of the team that will keep them operating at the highest efficiency possible. Again, GFC would like to say, well done. I'm Eric Soderberg, President of Lift Tech Consultants, the lead consultant for the cranes, crane rail infrastructure, and new switchgear project at Port Everglades. On behalf of our team, we congratulate Broward County on successful procurement of the three largest low profile cranes in the world. It has been our privilege to help the port with these projects. We thank the port for their trust and teamwork in making these projects a success. Hello, this is Rodrigo Masuera with WSP. I'm the senior project manager for the Southport Turning Notch Expansion Project. The commissioning of the Gantry Cranes is just the beginning of a much larger project. I want to congratulate the board with the, the future that they have. Hi, I'm Ellen DeRose, Project Coordinator WSP and the Treasurer of the Port Everglades Association. We're really excited to be a part of this. Thank you Broward County Commissioners for approving the purchase of these gantry trains and we're excited for the future. Hi, I'm Colonel Kelly with the Jacksonville District U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, these new one-of-a-kind gantry cranes are just one part of a major expansion that the Corps of Engineers is in partnership with the port, uh, so I wish you a great day. Well, it's a great day today, and I'm here to congratulate our operations division, especially the crane section, for all the work they've done over the past six years to make today a reality. Bigger cranes means bigger gains. World-class cranes for our world-class port. Hello everyone, I'm Lori Baer, Executive Director, Port Everglades Association. These new cranes mean greater productivity. Our users will be able to safely and swiftly handle greater volumes. Well done, Port Everglades. And thank you to our county leaders for recognizing the importance of this project. Hi, this is Terry Hirsch. President of uh, Steve Ritter, Hirsch Stevedoring here in Port Everglades, and I'm uh, excited that we're giving in our new cranes uh, from ZVPMC. It should be a wonderful addition to the port, help us grow exponentially, and make a difference to the basically the region, creating more jobs for everybody. And I couldn't be more thrilled. Wonderful. We wish everybody the best. Hi, I'm Representative Chip Lamarca, and I'm Coming at you from Florida's state capitol as your vice chairman of the Tourism Infrastructure and Energy Committee. I'm honored to serve on that committee and look out for Port Everglades issues every day. I want to congratulate uh, Director Daniels and everyone in Broward County on the new Super Post Panamax gantry cranes. As you know, I've got a history with Port Everglades and I'll always be looking out for you. Let's hope that the governor's recommended funding gets into uh, the budget for uh, relief for Port Everglades. Looking forward to seeing you at home. 
My name is Richard Rovirosa, CEO of PET. Our congratulations goes out to Broward County and the Port Authority for commissioning the new Coast Panamax cranes. These cranes will make us become the alternative and the lead port in the region. Hi, I'm Bob Swindell, President and CEO of the Greater Fort Lauderdale Alliance. I'm also one of the founding members of the Port Everglades Action Team, fondly referred to as P. Congratulations, Port Everglades, on the commissioning of these new low-profile post-Panamax cranes. They represent a huge investment and it's a milestone in Port Everglades' economic growth. Congratulations, Port Everglades. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Will Williamson at Resolve Marines Maritime Academy here in Port Everglades. On behalf of Resolve Marine, I'm pleased to congratulate Port Everglades on the acquisition of three new Super Post Panamax gantry cranes recently put into service. It's great to see us once again leading the way to bigger and better opportunities to accommodate large container ships. Hi, this is Ronan Collin, Director of Project Cargo for CMATG in Miami. Installing the world's largest low-profile ship-to-shore cranes will increase productivity and offer new project cargo capabilities at Sport Everglades. It also opens the door for larger ships and provides new opportunities to innovate for CMATGM group customers. We congratulate Port Everglades on this important milestone. Thank you. Hello, my name is Chris Cathcart. I'm a captain with the Broward Sheriff's Office and District Chief here at Port Everglades. My team and I proud to work with our port container companies to ensure that the personnel and their cargo is safe and to ensure that the roadways are safe for travel for cargo to be transported within and outside of Port Everglades. Congratulations to Port Everglades. We are optimistic that these new cranes will provide economic growth to South Florida. Stay safe and stay healthy. Hi, I'm Patrick Collins, Vice President of Operations here at Crawley Maritime. Just wanted to say how excited we are to see these three new gantry canes come into service here in Southport. It's been a long time coming and we're certainly looking forward to putting them to good use. Wanted to thank everybody at Broward County, Port Everglades Port Authority, and at ZPMC for all their hard work to get us to this milestone in Port Everglades' evolution. Thank you. Father Sandy here, Port Chaplain, Seafarers House, Port Everglades. We're blessing the cranes today, and we say, Father, maker of all things, you've given us the talent to design many machines. Help us to use these cranes in your work in commerce. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I'm Jonathan Daniels, the Chief Executive and Port Director at Port Everglades. Welcome to a truly historic day and moment at the port. Not only is this a transformative position under which we see these brand new cranes, but it's also really that next step in transition at the port. New cargo docks, new berths, the deepening and widening of the channel, all being done while paying attention to the sense of environment around us. As you can see from the people here, it's truly the support that we have received from so many that have provided us the opportunity and the partnership to be where we are today, to be able to cut the ribbon and officially commission these new Super Post Panamax cranes, which are the largest manufactured anywhere in the world on the low profile side. The partnership that we have here, again, so many of you here today, I can't thank you enough. We have the Board of County Commissioners here, many of the members, we have our, our deputy county administrator that's here, our federal partners from the U.S. Coast Guard, from Customs and Border Protection, those that are charged with the safety for the port, the terminal operators, the longshoremen, the men and women of the ILA, the Teamsters, and all of our labor force. From the Florida Department of Transportation, such incredible support, not only logistically, but also financially. We have former members of the port staff here, port directors that came up with this concept, were able to nurture it 
and now are able to see it to its final inception. We have members of our port community here, represented by Port Everglades Association, members of our business community that happen to be in place, from the, great, uh, the Greater Fort Lauderdale Alliance to the Port Everglades Action Team. And finally, in anticipation for this, we have members of the communities under which we call home, from Hollywood, Dania Beach, as well as Fort Lauderdale. But I'd be remiss if I did not talk about the incredible expertise from the engineering to the design to the implementation and manufacturing of these new Super Post Panamax gantry cranes. Those people from ZPMC and the other subcontractors put their efforts together, the expertise to allow us the opportunity to meet our schedule. So, bigger cranes mean bigger gains at Port Everglades. If you are looking at import or export or cruise port, we want to be your port, Port Everglades.